Welcome to VKS Coding. So today we'll talk about content delivery network. So before getting started with the content delivery network, let's first understand why we need a content delivery network. So here I have developed one application like YouTube and that particular application I have developed in the United States. So this is my server and that is having an IP 1.2.3.4. That is nothing called a YouTube server. It is deployed in United States and same entry I have made into the DNS. So YouTube.com whenever somebody will type to into the browser that will return 1.2.3.4 as a IP address for my web server. So here I am getting the traffic from the client is coming from the United States. So whenever somebody is typing in the browser YouTube.com. So so it will first the request will go to the DNS server and then step two DNS server will return the IP address of the YouTube and again the browser will connect to that particular IP address 1.2.3.4 to my web server and my web server will return the video. This is taking very less time like one millisecond it is taking to serve the video wherever the, I am the getting the traffic from the clients. So this is very useful and now the people from the United States are very happy. Now I am getting the lot of traffic from all around the worlds like Russia, China, Brazil, India, Poland, everywhere I'm getting the traffic and let's see how it works. This is the particular YouTube server here and it is having the IP address 1.2.3.4 and here are the client which are getting the traffic from the United States. So this is the first client kind of uh, we are getting the traffic from the United States. So it will first query to the DNS and it will return the IP address like 1.2.3.4 the IP address of the YouTube server and it will again the get the videos from the YouTube server. This is our client one is from United States. Now suppose we are getting the traffic from the Russia and this is our client two. Uh, Russia distance is too far right and it is approximately 8881 kilometer and whenever the client two which is coming from the Russia will uh, query its DNS server to get the youtube.com URL. So it will return the same URL 1.2.3.4. So it will now the client two will query to the same YouTube server right and it will return the video to the client two. But there is a catch here it will take 190 millisecond right uh, but here when the client is querying to the YouTube server from the United States for him it is taking one millisecond so if you see the user experience is better for the United States clients suppose the client 3 is coming from India and it is querying the youtube.com that DNS server will run 1.2.3.4 then this client will, will connect to the YouTube server and it will get the video from the YouTube server for him it is taking 240 millisecond again it's a kind of huge why we are getting this much of time because the distance between United States to the this India client is having the 13,568 kilometer and if you know how the traffic is served between the internet basically there will be a optical fiber cable and between that there will be a lot of switch and routers will be deployed to route the traffic so this will take time to route the traffic and for India client it is taking a 240 millisecond now let's see how the Brazil client is taking the time so we have a client for coming from the Brazil and when it is typing the youtube.com it is going to the Brazil DNS server and it is writing in the 1.2.3.4 then this client 4 will connect to the YouTube server and for him it is taking 150 millisecond it is also kind of huge why because the distance is 7312 kilometer so this is the actual problem right when we deploy the server in one particular geographic location that will be beneficial for only that particular area right and for other geographic location like like Russia, China, India, Brazil, Poland or other places it is not beneficial right so this is the actual problem if the geographic location is uh, far from the deployed server then the latency will increase and uh, the client will not be happy right because the latency increase and when somebody is requesting from the far for them it a video is kind of a loading or kind of a buffering it will take a lot of time to serve the video from the original server to the client to resolve this issue we have to use use the CDN that is nothing called a content delivery network. Let's see how the content delivery network is going to solve the latency problem around the geographical location. So in green color I have deployed a three content delivery network and it is having a different IPs. So if you hear the font content delivery network IP address is 4.5.6.7 and same I have registered into the DNS server and for other content delivery network having the different IP. So one I have deployed in Russia, one I have deployed in India, one I have deployed in Brazil and the 
request for the United States will be served from the same YouTube server. So basically, when we bring the uh, service available to the user, that particular place where the CDN server is deployed, right? So that particular place is called point of present, kind of a we can call as a pop. So that's why I have mentioned here is a pop and the CDN server where deployed in the pop, right? So that is nothing called its server. Nowadays, if you see the web contents are kind of 80% of a static content. So we can cast those static contents in a CDN network and that from that we can serve the traffic to the clients. Let's see how it works in the flow. So basically, if the user want to connect to the YouTube.com, then the client with from the Russia, this is the kind of a first client when it is trying to connect to YouTube.com, then it will first query to the DNS, then DNS will return the nearest CDN to the client one. So it will connect to the CDN, this particular CDN, which is nearest to him. If the video is present into the CDN, then CDN will return the video to the client one. If the video is not present to the CDN, then CDN will fetch the video from the original YouTube server. And once it will fetch the video from the original YouTube server, it will cache it and it will make a TTL for that particular video time to live, right? Uh, if it is, it will expire, then it will delete that particular video until that time it will serve the same video to the client requested from the Russia and same thing will happen to the India. If the, if the user from the India is requesting for YouTube.com, then the nearest CDN will serve the request to the India client and same thing will happen to the Brazil client. So if the uh, Brazil client now requesting to the video for YouTube.com, CNS server will return the nearest CDN uh, IP address and the client will connect to the nearest CDN and the CDN will serve the video to the client from Brazil. If the client is coming from the United States, then YouTube main server will serve those clients because that server is nearest to the client. So if you see the performance wise, so when the client is requesting right from the Russia, earlier it was taking 190 millisecond. Now it dropped to 4 millisecond when it query to the CDN. And when it query, uh, when for India, it was taking around 240 millisecond. Now it dropped to 5 millisecond. And if you see here for Brazil, it was taking a 150 millisecond. Now it came down to 3 millisecond. You see how it is the performance wise. It's a kind of a 80 or 90 percent kind of a improvement we can see while using the CDN. That's why we use the CDN for caching the static content, right? And CDN will accelerate the delivery of the web content. So we have a two type of CDN. So first one will have a push based CDN and second one will have a pull based CDN. So in pull based CDN, when the client requests to the video to the CDN, if CDN will have the video, then it will return to that video to the client. If the CDN will not have a video, then it will request the video from the original server and it will get the video to the CDN. It will cache that video into the CDN and it will return that video to the user. So this is how the pull based will work. So there is no manual intervention is required in the pull based and for a small size we static content, it will be a best suitable that pull based CDM mechanism. Based, it is a kind of a manual intervention is required, right? And it is suitable for the larger files like greater than uh, 10 MB or 100 MB file size. So basically uh, one admin is required, which will basically upload the video from original server to the CDN networks, right? And from this CDN, the user can be get the video from the particular CDNs, right? And if the video is not present into the CDN, then this user will again query to the main server and get the video. So this is about the types of CDNs. So what are the benefits we will get while using the CDN? So first one we'll get is the improved in web loading time, right? Web page loading time by bringing the service near to the user. Suppose user is querying to the main server, it is very far, right? Then we can deploy a nearest to him the CDN. So the loading time of the web page will become less, right? So that's how we'll improve the web page load time. Second, CDN will offer the scalability and the availability as well. So we can scale the CDN on particular point of presence location, right? And these is server, we can scale it. If one server goes down, request can be served by another server. And even it is a one location in one geolocation it is down, the request can be served from another geolocation, right? That's why it is also available. And it provide a caching capability for as per the capacity in the CDN, right? So we can cache the static content, right? Which can be served to the clients. And it will reduce the latency because it is now not going to query to the main server if it is having the content in the CDN itself. And the demand of the service is increasing as website offering more streaming videos, e-commerce and cloud applications, right? Where the performance is 
is key for all the application so that's why cdn is getting used and what are the available option in the market we have so we have akamai amazon cloudfront and cloudfare so this is all about the cdn so thank you for watching my video please do subscribe my channel to get to know more about system design topics